Thick wildfire smoke and terrible air quality is the main concern this afternoon. Hello, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd with an on-demand storm tracker forecast update a little after 1 p.m. We will circle back to that topic, but first I want to analyze the big picture view. we got a jet stream right now that's uh, basically producing a west-southwest flow, and that's helping to funnel in quite a bit of wildfire smoke into the region. But upstream is an upper-level trough, and this is going to bring a chance for showers, thunderstorms, and yes, cooler temperatures possibly beginning as early as tomorrow, but a much better opportunity for showers and thunderstorms Thursday into Friday and cooling down significantly in some areas. So we're keeping an eye out for some instability this afternoon because the Storm Prediction Center has what they call a marginal risk, but you look at the color scale, it's on the very left side or that green area that's a low risk of some stronger thunderstorms, mainly along and north of Interstate 90 for your Wednesday afternoon and evening, but the Thursday, that spills over into much of southwestern areas of Montana. Butte, Bozeman, Helena, Dillon, West Yellowstone are in there for the potential for some stronger thunderstorms Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. In fact, there could be some thunderstorms rumbling even in the early morning hours on Friday. Look at this, an air quality alert is up for the entire state of Montana. Great. <laughs> Oh boy, so the wildfire smoke could ease slightly with a pattern change coming into Thursday and Friday. As we get an upper level low spinning in here, showers, thunderstorms, and wind, so I'm hoping to see an improvement in the overall air quality for a few days before it comes back again, and that may be into the weekend into early next week. So we're not done with this horrible smoky weather pattern. It just uh, kind of comes and goes periodically. But let's analyze our high resolution model because it does show a slight chance for thunderstorms this afternoon, evening, and increasing clouds throughout your Thursday afternoon. And this will come in waves. So a few hit and miss thunderstorms around three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon. And then another round of storms could be moving in around nine, 10 o'clock Thursday evening. And that could continue into the early morning hours on Friday. And in fact, some nocturnal thunderstorms could be punching in across Beaverhead, Madison, and Gallatin counties around four or five o'clock in the morning on Friday. And then mainly hit and miss afternoon thunderstorms redevelop Friday afternoon with that upper level low swinging through the area. So several, several chances for some moisture moving into the region. Now, don't take this literally, but the precipitation forecast does show some pockets of a quarter to half an inch plus of rainfall. Just depends on where some of these thunderstorms set up, but we're hoping for some much needed moisture to continue. So short term pattern for Butte, very smoky tonight, isolated rumbles. Tomorrow, better chance for thunderstorms, but still hot and smoky around 87 degrees. And for Bozeman, 58 tonight, about 90 degrees Thursday, and thunderstorms trying to build in the afternoon. But temperatures will drop into the 70s Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Updates on that extended weekend forecast at 5.30 and 10 at KXLF and KBCK.